Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So today we're going to talk about how much money you can make as a blockchain developer. So before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Click the like button down below. And also, if you're learning how to build blockchain technology, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. So let's get into that question. How much money can you make as a blockchain developer? So before we do that, full disclosure, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. You know, I'm a blockchain developer and I want to help you. So don't sue me <laughs> and certainly do your own research. Uh, take everything in this video with a grain of salt. So how much money can you make as a blockchain developer? I'm going to talk about how much money you can make, you know, in a job, you know, as a freelancer. And, you know, first I'm going to talk about, you know, how much money you will probably make, you know, kind of a conservative estimate. And then I'm going to talk about how much money you could make, you know, if you really saw the potential of what you could do with blockchain technology. All right. So first, let's just kind of talk about the conservative estimates and figures and things like that. Right. So how much money could you make? Well, it's really hard to find reliable data on this, right? Because you can't see every job posting that's out there and how much they get paid. Um, you know, you can get on a website like Indeed.com, but I don't think that's a very good way of doing this. So what you basically have to do is just ask other people and everyone's going to kind of give you a different answer, right? So I'm going to give you a very rough answer and then I'll kind of back it up and provide you with some maybe different hard numbers and ranges and things like that. So... My sort of rule of thumb, simple conservative answer, which I think you're gonna like, which is really good, is that if you are competent, right, if you're a good developer, if you really learn, um, and you acquire the skills that can provide value to someone, and you work hard, right, you actually do work, get the job done, I think it's very possible for you to make a six-figure income per year in, you know, in US dollars um, as a blockchain developer. I think that's a very attainable goal for lots and lots of people. If you can acquire the skills and you can perform the job, okay? So if you're gonna get anything from this video, that's sort of the main summary point. All right, so let's actually kind of break that down and look at some other salary ranges and some specific numbers, right? So this is all gonna depend upon like where you live, right? And where the company's located. Uh, is it in San Francisco, California? Is it in New York City? Is it in a you know big city in Europe or something like that? Um, but a lot of this actually matters a little less these days because the blockchain you know space, the blockchain industry is so remote, it's so distributed. And you can work for a company in a big city without having to live there, right? You can work for a company in San Francisco, California without having to live in San Francisco. So also keep that in mind when you're talking about these different salary ranges. So I'm going to give you kind of my loose ranges, right? For like a, a mid to senior level developer. Um, I'll do that first, right? So someone who has some experience, who's been developing for a while. I think it's pretty realistic for you to make like 100,000 US dollar to 130,000 US dollar per year as a blockchain developer. Like I said, if you're good and you can do your job well, and that's just working for a company. All right, so maybe back that up if you don't feel like, okay, I'm not quite there yet, I don't have that experience. I would even say still as a less experienced developer, you could probably still make close to a six figure income, like not that far away. You know, even just like starting out, you could probably get like 75 to 80,000 US dollar plus as a blockchain developer because of the economics, because the, the demand is outpacing the supply of developers, right? So we can even go beyond that, right? You know, if you're a top notch senior developer, even talking about like a technical lead, you know, you're looking at 130 plus, 150, maybe even up in the $200,000 range if you provide a lot of extra skills on top of your top notch developer expertise, right? And we'll even take it a step above that. You know, if you're the top of a company, a big reputable company that has a lot of money uh, and you really know your stuff and you can lead teams and make really important decisions, or if you're famous, you can exceed $200,000 a year as a really hot blockchain developer. Now, as always, like I said, with each of these, you know, tiers, each of these different rankings, you have to earn that title, right? You can't just say, oh, I want to be this and try to command a certain salary or, you know, demand a certain compensation. You can't just do that, right? You have to be competent. 
You actually have to be able to provide value um, at that level in order to be paid that much. And that's how this whole thing works, right? So definitely keep all that in mind when you're talking about these different salary ranges. But that kind of gives you something to look forward to. And also go back to what I said earlier, which is it's very realistic for you to shoot for making a six-figure income as a blockchain developer. All right, so now let's talk about what you could possibly make, right? So we're talking about thinking big here, okay? And I want to get into this section because this is something developers miss a lot. This is something... I think most software developers do not understand. And I say that lightly because I don't like to use the term most when you just say, you know, some. I really mean most people don't understand this, which is the sky is the limit when you're talking about compensation for blockchain development. And let me tell you why. So let me ask a question. Why does anyone pay money for anything, right? Why do they do it? Because they perceive value right? It gives them some sort of value. So why do businesses pay money for anything? Businesses are usually paying for things that are going to make them more money, right? Either in the short term or in the long term, right? And that's what they do with developers. They hire developers to build technology that's going to make them money. And a lot of times, you know, developers aren't thinking about that. They're just thinking about, oh, this is what I made in my last job, or this is what my friend makes. And I'll just kind of work for that. And, you know, the companies, a lot of times, the negotiating power is in their favor because, yeah, a lot of people will just agree to those prices. Um, but companies are willing to pay for things that will make them more money in the long run, right? So you as a developer and you as a blockchain developer, if you can provide a company with some value that's going to make them a lot of money, you can justify a much higher dollar amount of compensation. So if you as a developer can provide a company with something that's gonna make them a lot more money and you alone are uniquely able to do that, right, compared to other people, you can command a lot for your services, right? If you can build something that's gonna make, you know, a company a million dollars, what's to stop you from charging them a lot for that service, right? Now, sure, they might be able to get it from somebody else, but what if they can't? What if they don't know other people? Or what if you have a solution that is appealing and is better than other people's, right? Or you have a skill that's better suited. You know, I can't necessarily fill in the blanks for all these things for you specifically. Like, these are things you have to train yourself to look for. But those are the kinds of things where you can actually, you know, command a very high amount of money. But that's what I really want to stress, which is value, right? All business is really a value trade. And anytime you can provide a business with value in a way that's going to make them more money, if you can give them a compelling value proposition, you can almost always make more than if you weren't thinking about that. So I don't want to like give you too high hopes that you're going to walk out and make a million dollars right, as a blockchain developer. But I do want you to start thinking that way if you want to maybe expand your horizons and raise the ceiling on what it's possible to make as a developer. And that might even be able to help you just climb up some of those ranks that I talked about before. But also, you know, you have to be a good developer, right? You have to be able to actually execute on the value that you're providing, right? You have to give them what they need in order to make that money. So also, you know, when you're talking about expanding your income as a blockchain developer, one really good way to do it and to raise that income ceiling is to become a freelancer. And you don't even have to quit your job to do this, right? You could just be a freelancer while you're working your regular developer job or while you're working some other job, right? Like maybe you're trying to break into the blockchain industry and you're not a blockchain developer yet. You can become a freelancer, right? You could just create a profile on somewhere like upwork.com to start getting work as a blockchain developer, even if you're working another job, right? Or maybe you're coming from a different software development background and you wanna try blockchain, well, that's a good way to do it too, right? So I think it's very conservative for you to be able to start getting in that same salary range that I mentioned before just as a freelancer, right? Now, if you've never freelanced before full-time, you know, it can have its ups and downs. So I don't want to tell you to just quit your job and become a freelancer. That's not what I'm saying. You know, you could easily break into that $100 an hour range and go way beyond that, right? You know, I don't really do much hourly work, but when I do, I charge a lot more than $100 an hour. And that goes back to what I was saying before, which is, I'm often in situations where I'm providing people with a lot of value that they can't get somewhere else, and it's value that's going to make them a lot of money. Those are typically the types of projects that I work on. 
So maybe that's something you can think about, you know, if you haven't thought about freelancing as a way to increase your income as a blockchain developer. And if you're interested in learning more about freelancing, just leave a comment down in the comment section below. I'm thinking about maybe other ways that I can help you all with these videos. Um, so if you're interested in learning about freelancing, just let me know. And so also, when you're talking about how to really reach that next tier, you can also think about building a product or a service with blockchain technology where you can make income without having to just actually perform a service all the time, right? You, you know, you can build a project that, you know, makes you money on the blockchain. And that's so much of what the projects are right now are, are, are projects that involve financial transactions. Um, so that's something that you can think about. All right, so that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you all like this video. Again, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and click the like button down below. And if you want to learn more about how to become a blockchain developer, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.